Hello, I'm Ranch Palace Verde City Manager Arm Ronyan with an update from the August 20th City Council meeting. The Ranch Palace Verde City Council continues to navigate the ongoing landslide state of emergency and is expanding efforts to slow the land movement that has wreaked havoc for months on homes, roads, utilities, and trails. After receiving a landslide update from the staff and the city geologists, the council voted to expand the scope of the Portuguese Bend Landslide Emergency Hydroggers Project to the Greater Portuguese Bend Altamira Landslide Complex, including Abalone Cove, Portuguese Bend, Klondike Canyon, and Beach Club Landslides. The expanded project involves installing vertical dewatering wells to remove water and curb movement in the ancient Altamira Landslide Complex area. Staff is expected to return to the City Council with professional services agreements at the earliest future meeting to implement the expanded scope of work. Meanwhile, the City Council considered a view dispute involving multiple homes and after considering all the information denied an appeal of the Planning Commission's decision to issue a view restoration permit to a Trotwood Drive property owner. The Planning Commission's decision, which is upheld by the City Council, requires the appellant to trim 11 trees that are impacting harbor views of multiple properties within 90 days. Moving on to the education front, the RPV City Council considered taking a position on the Palos Verdes Peninsula Unified School District's classroom repairs student safety measure that is on the November 5th ballot. The district's Board of Education voted unanimously in June to place the measure on the ballot and if approved by 55% of the local voters, the measure would provide the district with nearly $298 million to complete high priority improvements to aging facilities that are almost 60 years old. The PVP USD is an award-winning school system serving approximately 11,000 students across 18 school facilities. After hearing testimony this evening, the matter was continued to September 3rd. For more information on the measures and the issues before the City Council, watch the meeting on RPV TV or on the City's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.